Hi, this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today we're going to be making this dimensional flower. Many of you have asked if I would do a recorded video of how I made this flower. So let's get started. So we're going to go ahead and stamp out a flower image. I'm using um, the flower from my stamp set, uh, Spring Blossom. So we're going to stamp out this image right here. So let's go ahead and stamp this out. I'm using Versafine ink, and I usually like to stamp out more than one. I'm gonna show you how I color it in and cut it out. So I usually like to do more than one of these, but I'm just gonna show you um, how I do one. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead for the coloring. The coloring actually is a, an important part too because you can add dimension just by coloring it. So let's go ahead and start with this pink and I'm just going to shade it in just the first layer and I'm using the Tumbo dual brush pens. Great stamp for layering or a great um, marker for layering I should say. And it is a watercolor marker. And so what I do is I just go in and I color my flower first. And many of you may have seen me do this in other videos, but I just wanted to do a video that just showed you the process uh, for making the flower. Okay. So the nice thing is there's different shades of pink on this one, um, on the Tumbo. So I'm gonna go in with a deeper shade once I finish this. Okay. Okay, so now I've got that pink on there. Now let's go in with a deeper pink. Let me just show you the comparison. That one might be a little bit too dark. Let me show you the comparison on these. That's what it looks like. So now I'm going to take this other pink and I'm just going to kind of just go in a little bit here. Right in the middle there. right along the middle. And then I'm going to take this and go in here. This way. And I'm just basically doing strokes inward from the outside there. And this will add dimension to your flower before we even start doing the technique that's really going to make it pop. And like I always say, have fun. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, just going to go just a little bit from that inner part of the flower right down the center. Okay, so see how I have that? A little bit. Now I'm going to just go right on the bare, the edge of this. If I want to go in like with a deeper color, just coloring this in even more, even darker on the outside, just like that. Or here's another idea. Now I could take that darker marker. If it's still not dark enough. You can just take this and just kind of go in even more. And I'm just staying right, right where the line is. 
is that darker line there. I'm just taking this and shading it in, staying close to that edge. And then maybe do another brush stroke up like this. So that gives it just a little bit more dimension. Almost makes it have a curved look already. And so right along the tip here, right along that very tip, using the darker color again. And I'm just basically dotting it because I want to stay right along that line there. Because I'm going to be fussy cutting this also. So now it really starts to look like it's curved. That little darkness right around the edge makes it look like it's curved under. And look at that. I'm going to go in just a little bit again here. Okay, now I'm going to take my lighter color and just do a little bit more strokes here just to kind of blend it just a little bit more. This is the lighter one that I used at the beginning. Notice I'm just doing strokes inward. And don't worry about each petal having to match. No, no petal is matches on the flower, really. Okay, and I'm just going to come a little bit more out this way. And yes, you can hear my doggy. He's in the craft room today. Okay, so that's what we got so far. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fussy cut this. Okay, so here's what it looks like all cut out. Now, I just used the lines that are already there. But what you're gonna to need to do is cut even more into the center. Let me just make sure I'm in camera here. You're gonna cut even more into the center. Make sure you can see this. I'm just gonna move back a little bit so you can really get a good look. I'm just cutting this, not all the way, but close to that white area in the center. Just like that. That way each petal stands out more and it's separated. Okay, so on the other side, it should look like that. So each one should be separated. Now, you, what you're gonna do is, you can use just a white damp, uh, damp cloth and just kinda, just a little bit damp on there. Just a little bit. And this is just like a wet wipe, basically. And so once you dampen that, you're going to take your stylus tool now, if you don't have a stylus tool, that's okay. You can use like a rounded edge of a pen. That will work too. This stylus tool has like a really tiny edge. That's not going to work for what I want. I want these petals to curve up. So now what you're going to do, now that your paper's wet, you're just going to gently roll this so that it starts to curve up. And just let it do its thing if it starts spinning just like that and that gets that dimension on that petal this is amazing and you don't have to apply a lot of pressure because the paper is already wet but when it dries the paper gets really stiff and it holds 
that dimension on there. You see that? I'm just letting it do its thing. So the more of this you do, the more dimension you add to it. And the reason why that color is bleeding through there, I'm using like a 65 pound cardstock. So it's a lighter weight. And also, these are watercolor markers, so. It's just doing what it's supposed to do. So you see, I'm just doing each petal, each one. Making sure I'm in the frame there. Okay, see that last one there? So now when I turn it over, look at that. So all you have to do is give this a little bit of a nudge. And there you go. Now what you're going to do, um, and also here's the other thing I forgot to tell you. I'm using a Spellbinders piercing mat. So it's got that foam to it. But if you have a mouse pad, you can do the same thing. It works the same if you have a mouse pad. So you need something that's a little bit, um, a little bit spongy like under it. So a mouse pad would be perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna drop some glue into the middle and I'm going to pop one of these gems in there. You can put a pearl in there, whatever you want. And so look at that, how much texture that has in it. Okay, so now to make this shine, it's like adding icing on the cake. I've been really loving these stickles. So this is the crystal stickles. And it doesn't take a, the color away, it just kind of enhances it and gives it a nice shine. So then all I do now is just kind of put this where I want it. I'm going to go right around the edge here. Right around the edge. Let me get my little tweezer here. Spin this around a little bit. Just right around the edge, just a little bit. And that really adds that extra something. And when this dries, oh my goodness, it's so pretty once it dries and it, and it has this nice textured feel to it. Okay, so that's the one I did. I did do some others. Let me just show you the different colors you can play with. This one is so pretty, it's like a silver color. Let's see. It's like a silvery color. I just wanted to try out and see. This one looks so pretty on like an anniversary card or something like wedding-like for some reason. It just reminds me of that. And I did add some of those um, stickles to it. Um, some of you were saying that you can add Wink of Stella on these too. So just use whatever you have in there. Look at the green, how pretty that is. So wouldn't a bunch of these look so nice enhancing your cards? Here's the orange one. You just have fun coloring them. But adding that dimension to it, that's what really makes it pop. So I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I will put everything that I use for this in the description box below this video. I hope you get to enhancing some of your cards with this because it really just adds that extra something to your cards. Here's the other one that we did with the mini cards a couple of weeks back. Okay, so I hope to see you real soon. And if you make these flowers, go ahead and post pictures in our Gift Basket Appeal Crafters group on Facebook. I'll have a link to that below. I'd love you to come and join us. So I'll see you real soon. Bye.